Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I will show you how you can massively save time as someone who develops in JetBrains IDEs like Android Studio by creating super useful multi-file templates that will save you a lot of time creating repetitive files where just a little bit of code always changes but insert all the remaining boilerplate code for you. And you can really become super creative with these templates. The one that I will show you here is one that will set up the entire structure for a new screen so typically, at least in my architecture, if I create a new screen, for example, a login screen, then that would need a composable, it would need a view model, it would need a screen state, and it would need a seal interface in order to send certain user actions to that view model. And this structure is always the same for every single screen in my app. So why not let a file template create this structure for us? So specifically, we can create something like a login package here, after you've watched the video, of course, and then go to a new, and here we have this tile, this template, Compose UI screen with view model. We click this, we give it a file name. This is actually not the, the full file name, but here we really want to specify just the name of the screen. So login, and this will then be uh, used to uh, prepend this to all kinds of relevant files. So if we now hit enter, just after typing login, then the only thing we need to do is we need to import this theme here, but the rest is already automatically generated. So you can see we have this login root, which just serves as the entry point for the screen, which initial, initializes our view model. You could, of course, swap this out uh, with a dagger view model or a coin view model. It uh, collects our state automatically. And then we have our composable screen that is isolated from our view model. Just takes the state, has an on action lambda, and is already put in the preview automatically. And everything is resolved. So we, you can see we have a, a login view model with the initial structure. We have our state declaration. We have an on start operator to just load initial data. Um, I will link the video about why the structure is like that. I will link that down below. You can also do that in uh, the init function of the view model. But this approach is a bit easier for testing, but different topic. And we do have this on action function, which receives these login actions that were also generated here, where we can just specify, hey, on button A click, on type text in text field B, I don't know. And lastly, we have the login state with two sample parameters where you would just put in all your screen specific state and that login screen is then used and exposed here in the view model and it's actually collected in our UI. And this structure is just always the same for every single screen in my apps. So this file template actually makes this super easy to create these four files with a single click and just typing the name of the screen. So how does this work? How can you actually set up the same? I will actually provide this exact template here as a download down below. Down below, you'll also find a link to the Android internal scores for which the early bird discount ends today. So you have a few last hours in order to save that new Android internal scores for a discount. But down below, you also find a link to a download my IDE settings, at least for these file templates. Once you did that, you want to open your IDE settings. And I will maximize this a bit because this will be clearer for you. And here you search for file templates. File templates here, file and code templates. These are all the predefined templates already. And if you scroll down here, you will see my own custom template. It's a little bit weird how these are grouped because this parent template here is actually for the screen. But this is how we can just export this as one template. So how does such a template actually look like and how can you adjust this? Please don't download and import this yet because I want to say something about that in a moment. But if you actually click on this file template here, then on the right side, you see the actual template code because very often we have these very similar screens where just a few different fields a few different pieces of code differ so for example the package name is of course something that needs to be specific to your project you don't always want to have my package name that's something we don't want to hard code so we can define something like if there is a package name and it's not empty then we define the package name at the top of the file we need to add all the relevant imports for the external dependencies we make use of here in this template and then we can say hey we have a composable we refer to the name of the file. So that would be login. Then we have a login root composable. We have a login view model with a login screen. So this is how we can really reference these defined uh, placeholders all over again. Down here, you can also see some helpers for these placeholders that you could make, make use of. This list is not exclusive. For example, the package name is not referenced here, but we can make use of that. And then, yeah, if we just scroll down, you can see we have our login state, which we reference login screen, login action, and down here we specify our preview with the project name. So the project name would yeah, just be the name of the project, and that's also the default name for your theme. So we just say file template demo theme. And the same we really just do for the remaining screens here. So for the view model, same package name. We have our 
name view model, name state, and so on. So you can really just put all the code that is the same while leaving space for these placeholders. So if you want to create such a template, you can of course just click on this plus here, and then you can create a name for this template, which will then appear in your um, file templates in, the, in this little context menu when you right click on a package name and want to create a new file. Make sure to use KT as the extension, of course, if you're creating a template for Kotlin code. And in here, you just put your template code. It's really that easy. So you can become creative for that. I don't want to talk more about these um, specific templates because I think you get the idea. How can you now take this template from me and actually integrate it into your ID? As I said, I provide the download for a zip file. Down below, the zip file contains Android Studio settings, but just these file template settings. So it will look like this somehow. When you download it, you will get the zip file. And if you don't have any other templates as the standard templates, you can just import the zip file. It's important to mention that if you already have other file templates, then importing the zip file from me will override your existing file and code template settings. So if that's the case, please don't yet import that. If you just have the, the demo uh, default templates here without the, um, the other one that you want to import, then you're fine. Then you can just go to Android Studio, File, uh, Manage ID Settings, and Import Settings. And then here you would simply say, go to the folder where you've downloaded that, click on the zip file, uh, open, and then it will be imported in Android Studio and you will have automatic access to the templates that I have created. However, if you already have other file templates and you don't want these to be overridden uh, by the one that I provide, then you need to make sure to just manually add that. Unfortunately, um, there's no way to just export a single template. So in that case, you would need to extract the zip file, open this, go to file templates, and here you have the um, actual template code for all these three, uh, for, for all these four classes. So you would simply need to open these and copy paste the code here in a new template under file and code templates. But this way you can really change these in a very fine grained way. So if you say you always use coin for dependency injection in your products, then you might want to go ahead and change this view model reference to coin view model and also adjust the import to import the coin view model uh, composable function set. So that completely works. Same if you use dagger, you might create a template to actually create all the dagger related boilerplate code. So maybe a module with a, a default provides declaration. I don't know, become creative with that. Maybe you didn't even know that this option exists of creating such a multi-file templates, but these save a lot of time. And if you actually already created super cool file templates, then share these below so we can help each other to add some more very cool templates. Awesome, thanks so much for watching. As I said, Android Internals course, last day for the early bird discount, link down below. Check it out if you want to master the Android OS. See you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye. Thank you.